Hello friends, Stable Fusion version 2.1 is out. Have they learned from the fiasco that was the release of 2.0? We'll see. Let's check it out. Alright, Stable Diffusion 2.1. This image apparently has been made with Stable Diffusion 2.1. So apparently this was made in the 768 model. Alright, so yeah, Stable Diffusion 2.0 release was terrible. Now the models themselves were well, they weren't terrible. They are not functioning in the same way as the models were previously. So most users were getting terrible results. And that can be fixed by working with negative prompts, stuff like that. Either way, the release was a total fiasco. Because if you're changing the way the model works in such a huge way, you need to address that. And they've understood that and they've released 2.1 which they say is going to be better. Now, they aren't exactly admitting to this in the text here, but I mean, we can all tell what's going on, right? And they say that we're happy to bring in the latest release of Stable Diffusion version 2.1. We promised faster releases after releasing 2.0 and we're delivering only a few weeks later. Yeah, I think they're, they kind of have to. And they say here within a few days of releasing version 2, people started getting fantastic results as they learned some new ways to prompt. Mm, I mean, that's massaging the truth a little bit. People were getting some good results, yeah, after they learned the ins and outs, but the majority of people got terrible results. But let's try and move past that and focus on the new models and better times moving forward. And it says here, you'll be happy to discover that 2.1 supports the new prompting style and brings back many of the old prompts too, which I think many people are going to be happy about so they can re-implement the stuff they've learned from previous stable diffusion models. The differences are more data, more training and less restrictive filtering of the data set. And this is also something people were upset about, the restrictive filtering of the data set. So lots of images were removed. And this has been um, eased up on now. Now it's still filter for not safe for work content, but they say it's in a way to not prevent the I mean, getting good images anyway. So when we set out to train Stable Diffusion 2, we worked hard to give the model a much more diverse and wide ranging data set. And we filtered it for, for adult content using Leon's NSFW filter. The data set delivered a big jump in image quality when it came to architecture, interior design, wildlife, and landscape scenes. But the filter dramatically cut down on the number of people in the data set, and that meant folks had to work harder to get similar results generating people. And that was one of the main issues of Stable Diffusion 2.0, generating crappy images of people. So let's hope that has been fixed. And I mean, looking at the example image here, I think this is pretty good. And you can see the prompt here. Portrait of a beautiful blonde woman, fine art photography, yada, yada, yada. You can read it for yourself. Look at, um, uh, look at the blog. I'm going to post the link below. It has some camera stuff in here. That's the, um, this is the, this is a film. This is a lens. And let's see. Yeah. Okay. So in this part here, this little, uh, what is it? Vertical bar. I always forget the name for that one. Anyway, that's uh, Dream Studio's way of using negative prompts. So after here, they have negative prompts and quite a lot of them. So apparently it's still needed. Blender, cropped lower as poorly drawn face, yada, yada. I mean, in my view, you shouldn't need to have to put in bad art, blurry, blurred poorly drawn face, etc. in a negative prompt. I mean, that's kind of self-explanatory. If you want a poorly drawn face or poorly drawn hands, you're going to type that in your main prompt. But apparently that's where we are with Stable Diffusion 2.0 and possibly 2.1 also. Let's hope it's a little better at least. Now they are saying that architecture just landscapes and scenery and, and buildings in general will be better in 2.1 and I for one think that's great news. I'm a big fan of, of environments and landscape pictures and uh, to my knowledge they've also changed the, the aspect ratio that you can put 
uh, wider images, more vertical images, and still get great results from that instead of all the cropped heads and, and you know, whatnot that you had before. In regard to what we just talked about on the, the filters, they say here we listen to our users and adjusted the filters. The filters st still stripped out adult content, but was less aggressive, which cut down the number of false positives detected. We fine-tuned the Stabilization 2.0 model with this updating setting, giving us a model we captured the best of both worlds. It can render beautiful architectural concepts and natural scenery with ease and yet still produce fantastic images of people and pop culture too. The new release delivers improved anatomy and hands and is much better at the range of incredible art styles than Stable Fusion 2.0. So that's nice to hear. And here are some examples of, uh, well, mostly supermen and women or superheroes. I think it's just, I think it's just super Superman and Wonder Woman. I don't recognize these ones. Yeah, here, here they have the resolution stuff. The model also has the power to render non-standard resolution. That helps you do all kinds of awesome new things like work with extreme aspect ratios to give you beautiful vistas and epic widescreen imagery. Now this is great news because this is a great change. And here they actually have, you can see the prompt here, valley in the Alps at sunset, epic vista, beautiful landscape, 4K, 8K. And there is no negative prompt here at all. And you know, it's just a beautiful image. And again, let's see if they have a negative prompt here. No, they don't. So that's also pretty nice. Did they have prompts for these? No, they didn't. And the fishes here as well are without negative prompts. So that's nice. They say here Dream Studio updates, but we're mainly interested in the Stable Diffusion 2.1 thing is for now. And they say lots of people notice the negative prompts work wonders with 2.0 and they work even better in 2.1. And you will have, if you're using like automatic 11.11 and or invoke, you can use negative prompts, but each tool has a different way of working with negative prompts. Now Dream Studio here again uses the vertical bar or the pipe. Automatic 11.11 uses the, well, this has a special box for negative prompts. And I think Invoke's way of, dub, of negative prompts is uh, the brackets, actually. So that can be a little confusing between all the tools. So this is just a comparison with and without negative prompts. Uh, yeah, it's an open source release. I mean, you know, Stable Diffusion by now. And it's available on Hugging Face. So you can find, let's see, you can find the weights and model cards here. And you have the checkpoint here. You also have the diffusers if you want to use that. Now, I think for automatic 1111, which most of you are used with, you are going to need a .yaml file, a YAML, a YAML, how do you pronounce YAML? I have no idea. Um, to be able to use it in Automatic 11.11. I didn't find one of those. So we'll see when this is available to be used inside Automatic 11.11. So stay tuned for that. But apart from that, here's everything you need. And if you don't want to download the models and test them in another UI, you can use Dream Studio, which is uh, Stability AIs. You can see that here. Visit beta.dreamstudio.ai. See, was there anything left in here? What do they say here? Above, the negative prompt is used to reinforce the visual fidelity and style of cinematic science fiction concept art. So now I'm blocking some of the prompt for you with my face, but I'll just scroll up a bit. You can see the negative prompt here. It's not a lot though. So that's uh, Stable Diffusion 2.1. And I hope that will get people to start trying it out. I know many of you are still using Stable Diffusion 1.4 or 1.5. I'm one of them who's still using mainly 1.5, especially with all the various models that um, can be merged together and create amazing stuff. 
So, um, yeah, try it out. Let me know in the comments below what you think about Stable Diffusion 2.1. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one. See ya.